Now it's time to show you how to use a razor tool which located here. Let's say we want to remove some part of the illustration. It's not just an eraser tool. If you click one more time, the brush library panel will pop up. You can select any brush to be used as an eraser. For a regular object removal, we can use a solid outline brush. Select it and increase the size. Let's delete one of the craters now. Go to Layers, Blue Planet Group, select the Craters layer and erase the crater now. You can see that we have the flare left here. Select the flare layer and erase it too. Done. Now I'm gonna show you another way of using a razor tool. Select the blue planet layer. I want to make the edges of the planet to be less smooth. Decrease the brush size. Press and drag the pencil on the edge to add some roughness. and remove the extra parts. Now the planet looks more realistic. There is one more useful way of using a razor tool. On the blue planet layer, create a new layer. On this layer, select the outline brush. Pick the color from the planet and make it lighter. Almost white. Draw an ellipse here. And a circle here. Fill the shapes. So we've got two light spots here which look a bit too flat. Go to Eraser tool and select not outline brush this time, but the textured grange brush. Increase the brush size. Softly pressing the pencil, start to erase these spots. And we've got a nice flare on the planet now. Let's do the same thing with the other planets now. Select the outline brush. Go to layers and select the red planet. And make the edges more rough. Since we have these yellow hollows in the planet, let's add some hollows on the edges as well. Like this. And here too. Like this. Now here. And here. Finally, let's make rough edges for the yellow planet. Erase it.
all good. Let's move on to the next chapter.